Hello everybody and welcome back to another Food Friday. Tonight we're going to be doing something very topical and timely. Oktoberfest. No, it's not timely at all, seeing as how it's, <laughs> it's February. It makes no sense. We're not doing a Valentine's Day one, even though this is a week after we're recording this on Valentine's Day. That's why I'm wearing red. We're going to do something that we actually like. Uh, we like Oktoberfest and a Oktoberfest burger from Steak and Shake. Did you hear that? Echo. That's fucking nuts. Hey! Wow. Echo! I'll put that in there. Echo, echo, echo. <laughs> Stupid. Let's see if I'm in frame. It looks low. So, my famous word, so. So. Anyway, Oktoberfest from Steak and Shake. It's a limited time kind of deal. So guess what? You're going to learn how to do it here. Fuck their time frames. No, I'll say that. That early. I said, I dropped a lot of F-bombs last episode. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, apparently. You can do it whenever you want. So we're going to show you how to do that. All right? I seem combative. I was like, all right. A little pissed off. Oh, oh no. I didn't good. put that meat out there. Fuck! Let's take a look at them ingredients over there. Part of, actually, I'd say the major part that makes this Oktoberfest is the simple fact of the sweet onions are going to be sautéed in a beer mustard sauce. Let's go ahead and do that. Time to sauté some onions. We're going to use some olive oil in the pan. <laughs> I know you cared. That's what happens when you cook and you're all, you know, like you start flexing when you cook. <laughs> There's a lot of ways you can go with this. You can make it, you can buy a beer mustard. You can make a beer mustard. You can, that's probably the only two things you can do actually. We have Austrian <laughs> beer mustard, legitimate Austrian beer mu muscles. We have <laughs> Austrian beer mustard, but I don't, according to the color of the pitcher, according to the color of the pitcher here, it doesn't quite look that. We're gonna make our own. This is for one burger, by the way. Measurements. Two. Two. So very specific. And some of this. Until it looks about like this. You don't want them completely caramelized, but you want them softened. Oh shit. And knock yourself out with the mustard yeah. gas fumes. It's pretty strong. Woo! Ugh. While this simmers, Oktoberfest. Why are we doing Oktoberfest in February? Fucking hell! Did you see that plume? <laughs> no, I wish I'd gotten it. So I was focused on the thing. Woo! I think my life has flashed before my eyes. Warming mustard. Are you recording? Yes. Holy shit! I'm not joking. Be careful. I <laughs> apparently it was like dormant. And I poked it and went poof. This little plume of mustard gas just hit me in the face, and I think I almost died. Stop it! Okay, we need a that needs. A little bit to that. Das Rammstein. Oh, see this then? Well, we've gone to Steak and Shake a couple of times and we noticed that when they make the burgers, they just basically throw it on a big flat 
pan and flatten it with the spatula. Well, we don't have a big flat pan, so we're just going to flatten it ourselves and then put it in the pan un or pre-flattened. <laughs> <laughs> just to clarify, they don't have a big flat pan. For this one, we went with 80-20. We didn't want to go too lean because, let's face it, it's not that lean. It's a burger. 80-20. It's good. Mmm, meat! Alright, the burgers are done. You just want to remember to keep smashing them down. I don't know if I quite smashed them down enough because they're very, very thin at Steak and Shake. But these are done. We put the ham on top. So the cheese seems to be in the middle of the two pieces of meat. So I put the Swiss cheese in the middle. I'm going to put the smaller burger on top. And then we're going to put a serving of the Black Forest ham on top of that. And just to heat up the meat, because you don't want that ham to be cold in there. That'll be a little weird with hamburger meat that's kind of hot. So we want to heat it for about three minutes to give the cheese time to melt. Per the picture, this green leaf lettuce was on the bottom. Okay. Next, you have your burger. It was very specific about Black Forest ham, burger, cheese, Burger, green leaf lettuce, and pretzel bun. And the piaz de resistance. I think I said that right. I probably did not. This right here, sauteed beer mustard onions. This is what makes this Oktoberfest. Ooh. And there you have it. Steak and Shakes, not so famous, sort of famous, I don't know, have you heard of it? Maybe it's famous. Oktoberfest double Swiss burger. I don't know what it's gonna taste like. I don't either. It's Why February. Why call it October? Eh, cause October means a different thing, which if I knew what it meant, I would say. What the hell is a sweetness? It's a fucking mustard. Mustard. You think like maple? Yeah, it does a lot. This is our Valentine's Day. It's sweet. It's sweet. Might be the ham we use or the mustard. We haven't eaten, so this is actually our dinner. Um, it, in our opinion, it's very good. It's very good. So if you're in the mood for an Oktoberfest in any month of the year. That's, that's the point of it. It's super unique. This is not your average burger, guys. I made steak and shake. Not hell. Hey, I didn't know you were still here. <laughs> we will do the Angry Whopper. Hey, listen. When Anonymous asks you to do something, you do it. Thank you for watching. Like, favorite, subscribe, all that shit, and you will see this again with more food, more beer. saturated fats, more beer. Until then, you gotta eat. Mm. Ha. Yeah. Ha. That was quick. I win. Mm. No one wins. It's ending on no one wins.